All right. So I think what we'll do is, in that it got cut off, maybe we'll just do a really quick review, okay? It's, it's cool. We started off with you playing the exercise that I provided for you previous lesson, which was going from pianissimo to maximum wrist turn. And when you went to maximum wrist turn, I noticed that you were coming up too, too far and it involved arm and seemed kind of stiff and jerky. And so I slowed you down, hipped you to something that Martinez showed me, right? Because there are uh, uh, different ways to help a student get to the end of this technique. And so I had you coming up in a smooth fashion from the wrist. And even when I had you do that, the stick didn't quite come far enough away from your palm, but like that. Okay, and then I showed you that you can you can play from there, right? You're just gonna let that collapse. So it's gonna do that, right? Then I showed you that there's another iteration. That is, you turn towards the surface at a certain point. What happens? Go on. We're here. As it just it falls into the palm, doesn't it? It feels different. And now we can. So now it's on the palm. So if we come up this eye, it's just gonna be on the palm, right? And and then we can turn from there. Okay, then, then, so then there's another height. You have this, this, and then now as we turn a little more, now you can really feel the weight of the stick in the fulcrum and in the first finger and thumb. And we can play, and still on the palm, and we can play from there. We can play from there. Then there would be another iteration, palm, then we really feel the weight, then we could come down a little more. Now it's not quite that much. We're about what? Through four inches above the surface. And we can play from four inches. So come up four inches. Really feel the weight of the stick. And we can play from there. Right? Right. And then we 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 I had you play from parallel and only come up maybe an inch and a half, two inches. And we can play from there. Come up a little less. That little turn. Just come up two inches. Come up even less. No, just just an inch and a half, two inches. Okay. Then I can add you play from parallel. We're only turning down. We're not turning up. And I can get a nice tap, never turning up to the surface. Plenty of volume. You've got the weight of the stick, weight of your hand, sound chamber. Now you're still coming up to the surface, up to the ceiling, though. I told you you have to be far enough away from the surface so you can develop momentum only turning down. That was a good one. Okay, <laughs> so we had you work on that. And then I suggest that, oh, I'm going to provide you an exercise so that you'll revisit playing from of that low position, but I want you to travel through all the different positions I just throw, showed you, okay, as you turn higher and higher until you're finally up to the maximum turn, okay? Right. Now, <clears throat> from there, we, I had you get into, I reminded you, I was looking for something cool to play, just to, to talk about singles in a different way, where we're not moving through the dynamic range. But that we're just we're maintaining one dynamic. We're just maintaining one dynamic. Firm, comfortable, constant. Stick is just laying in my hand. Remember, Joe, that the hand does this, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Come all the way up, huh? all the way up what happens yeah what what seems somehow uh contradictory is that when we really come up really high the stick comes away from the palm yet with no stick in your hand this is what the fingers do they react to the wrist don't they okay so that's the way the hand is always going to work okay 
All right. So so now we're just turning we're just turning from here playing eighth notes. And then da 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 thinking, I sound great, you know, well, I just want to play the tune. Never really taking the time to dissect things like, like how do you really turn your wrists and play that opening line so that you're, you're hitting the core of the attack with the rest of the band, right? So you're actually playing 2D, right? Okay, so, so, so I had you do that, and then what we learned was, go ahead and do that for me. We're just traveling through, we're just traveling through this dynamic. And we're gonna spend some time there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Now we're playing eighth note triplets. But nothing's changed. See, and I haven't see you've already gotten higher. Look how nice and low I am. going to turn higher okay that's what i had you thinking about but i'm just going to have you play it up to because you already started to turn higher just going from eighth notes to eighth note triplets so that's your propensity so i'm helping you learn to not do that okay then what we had you do in the <coughs> previous recording that ended up getting interrupted then I, I talked to you about getting into, I want to get you into stick control. And as I explained, it's really what, I'm, what I just showed you, right? However, whatever you're doing, and, and I explained that, you know, Spivak and Marie, uh, Marie and uh, Richard Wilson didn't always agree on metronome markings. Marie's got me at half note, 80 to 84, and Dick has me from 72 to 80. So we're, we're going to put the metronome on at 72. <clears throat> and I showed you that, right? We have this, right? And you, and, and you said, oh, that's the volume? I said, yeah, but we could play louder, right? That's not where I want you. I want you down in a, in a in, in, as Dick Wilson would teach. He didn't have you turning really high because, as you'll see, we're about to go from singles to doubles. And he'd say, especially in the beginning, until you develop the understanding, if you make the first note of a double too loud, it's harder to get the second note the same level of volume. We want to try to get two even notes, a, a rebound that has evenness. So right now. Go ahead and play exercise number one, which is at 72. And watch for that thumb in the left, not to creep up. But just be aware of it. The arms just turn. Right? Because what we learned is when I said to you, as we go through all these different iterations, the whole thing is just a turn. Thank you, Richard Martinez. And everybody was saying, it's all in the wrist. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so, and, and, and now we're going to stop. Dick would say next, and you finish off the line, and let one metronome click go by, and then go the other way. Okay, so. Okay, and then you go. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay, so, so. Rest. Get the other Don't turn higher now. Find the height and maintain it. To make an accent and then it's going to go the other way. Good. Got the idea. So now what's happening is, <clears throat> and, and you'll notice that the last lesson I introduced doubles on the rebound. Okay. In anticipation of playing the first page of stick control. Yes. Right? Okay, so there's continuity there. And so now, instead of instead of we're playing singles, right? Now, now we're going to let it bounce. We're not playing it on the rest. See what that looks like? See how relaxed that is. And we could play it louder. We could. Dick would say for now, as we're starting stick control, getting into it for the first time, we're just going to turn right here and we're trying to get two even notes. Just Kevin, what, what, what I'm feeling is a little bit of that, like on the rebound. That's what you should be feeling. Okay, because I'm feeling, I'm feeling the butt end of the stick come away from the palm and then and back into it. Just do that again. See, that's 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 what Dick would sing to you. He'd go, no, no. And it's not as bad as I may have been years ago when he'd say, it's not da dip. It's not da dip. Da dip. Da dip. Da dip. It's da 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 It's, just, it's really multiple rebounds, see? And I'm just asking for two of those. So, it's not, so we're not doing obviously two wrist turns, two inches. It's, say, I would say one wrist turn coming up two inches followed by that rebound. Correct? Is that the right way of thinking of it? Yes, but you don't want to slam on the first note, and you want to think of da da two even notes. You're not turning higher. Maybe that will help you get it to rebound. I don't know. Don't slam on the first note. Remember, remember how you how you were how you remember how high you were turning on this singles exercise. Yeah. Well, that's how high you want to turn for doubles. You want to maintain the height. Right? Should be that volume. Okay, play it. Go ahead and play it to 72. It's better. Put them together and play 72. You're actually turning your wrist twice. Yeah. Be the wrist turning twice. And here is not. Okay, it's just one turn. Watch, watch. Just do this. That's 
not bad. Can you now give me just two of those? Don't turn higher. There you go. See, it's only turned once. Yes, yes. That's very subtle. It's very subtle. That the and now give me multiple rebounds. On the left. I'll turn higher to get it. Yeah, you could. You don't. We could do it from parallel, but that's not what we're doing right now. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want you to lay, lay the stick on the surface at the end. You could, but that's not what we're doing. That would be some remedial thing. There. Now, just give you two of those. Again. There you go. Can't put those together. It's nothing. Just turn your wrist once and let it bounce. Roll every metronome on. Yeah, put the metronome on. That was bad. Twice. Right, just let it rock over the falcon. Turn once. You stay on the surface long enough. Let's do this. Try this. Keep the metric. Keep it on. Keep it on. Like that. So you're just going to play the motion. And when you're ready, watch. You're just going to let it bounce twice. Here, see that's the motion. That's all you get to do. And then watch, 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 Joe, watch. See the timing of my wrist turn in the right. See, see how similar it looks to when I play two. See the thumb going up and down at the same speed. Yeah, similar there. Okay, that's what I want you to think about. Go ahead and try, try, try using no in the timing of a single. Yeah. And don't go slamming, nice and easy. It's the timing of the wrist turn. But to maintain that timing, let it bounce twice. Starting left. Or were you? Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Now, now, now go left. It's an easy exercise. Incorporate this. The exercise of turning at the speed of the motion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, it's twice as fast. Turn and it doubles. Landing. Well, we, we land close. We're not going to get a rebound. We're going to have to turn on this twice. See? And, and, like this. Giving me multiple rebounds, turning that high. No, no, no. In the left, in the left, turn, and let it go. No, 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 no. What, what you did before. I had you do before. Remember, if you come up this high, look, look. Turn all different iterations. Now we're, now we're here. The stick feels very heavy. No, we're here. But three inches away from the surface. Yeah, feel how the stick goes pretty heavy down here, right? Right, and and you can bring it up just a tiny bit more, tiny quarter of an inch more. Come on, bring it up. Okay, now from there you're just gonna. Okay, 
There's plenty of rebounds there. Don't slam. There, just give me two of those. Two. There, so you only turn once. Okay, so you're going to have to practice that. Let's not, let's not spend any more time on this. But So I've given you two different ways to practice getting rebounds and not interfere and take it by turning your wrist twice. Okay, so that, that is that you're going to just turn at the speed of the wrist turn for a double. And when you're ready, playing singles. And then when you're ready, you're going to turn that into doubles. If that doesn't work, because it just didn't, you're going to go to playing multiple rebounds, turning at the height that you're turning. And once you once you seem to once you feel that stick because it, it's rocking over something must be a fulcrum in there somewhere because it you got a nice four rebounds at least and you just might need two of them yeah. and then you got it right okay now the next thing we're doing is we're moving on to exercise number five now we're into and we haven't formally gotten into par the paradiddle. Uh, you know, in the Spivak library, but I need to get you into stick control, right? So uh, what Dick would do is he'd, he'd put a dot where there might be a typical accent in a, in a paradiddle. He puts a dot of stenuto. You can see where he dotted. You see how he dotted the... Yeah, he dotted that, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see the dot above the, the bear. Yeah, and so it's just a gentle accent, or it's just a, it's it's a, it's a little louder than the other notes, but not an accent. Okay. Okay, and we get that by making a gentle throw. There. Okay, so go ahead, seventy-two. And are the, are the the doubles are rebounded in the paradiddle then? We're in rebound land now. Yeah, My rebounds on the, on the doubles aren't two wrist turns. And then we could we could play ladder. But that's not where I want you. I want you down in here. See there's was it as it gets faster. Not at, at the speed where we are right now. Okay, go ahead. Try. 72. We're looking for rebound. You could play it on the wrist, but that's not what this is. Try doing this. Try 
No, I, I know the propensity is to want to throw or play the allow to rebound yes. via the downstream, but that's not what we're doing. It's So it's ah, 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 just do this, right? Ah, there. Do that again. So you're really playing from parallel. Yeah, you're playing from parallel, aren't you? Any multiple rebounds. Do it again. There. Can't you just get two of those? There. Yeah. You do that the other way with the rebound exercise. Okay. Give me the rebound exercise. There, you see? Now you can't cheat. It's, ah, see, it's just one wrist turn. Now just give me two of those. Okay. There. So you can do it. So you're going to have to work on that. Yes, right? yes, yes. Then you have the next iteration. So, so with, um, with number six, with the diddle in the middle, as I like to call it, we're going to put the accent on the downbeat there, on the half point. Well, no, not the accent. It's, you're maintaining the integrity of what a paradiddle is. So the dot would be on the fourth note, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it, it would. Yeah, yeah, it would. Because it's the iteration that it would fall on the fourth. Exactly. Remember, we, we have an upstroke to consider here as well. Yeah, that's right. But stay with me just for a sec. Because so if, if we're playing paradiddles like this, ah, 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 ah. See, even when I turn high, I get the bottom of the bead. Did Dick didn't want the tip? You get the bottom. See how nice and solid that is. Does, yeah. So you get that nice rolling thing that happens. Nothing is going on other than I'm turning my wrist, controlling the rebound, turning my wrist, making sure that I'm making all the correct motions. I have my down. I have my up. I have my my rebound. Right. All the pieces have to be there. For it to or to look and sound and feel like that. You go for it again. Okay. Okay. In fact, don't go for it. Let's move on because now we're playing number six, and that's where we have an upstroke that is the very first note. Yeah, that's right. So metronome on. You need the metronome on because now we're in an, into an inversion, right? We've yeah. inverted this thing. Okay. Joe is, you know, how much pressure do you really need? You know, how tight do you need to be to, to, to play notes? Tight. How tight do you need to be? How tight do we really need to be? You have to experiment with that, because if you're going to hold the stick too tight, you get this. You don't need to be too tight. Here I am. Yeah. We talked about, see, once it comes up that high. Okay. So, uh, and even though I don't really, this isn't my grip, it works. You see, it's, 
you're just following these these principles. It's the, 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 the way the human body is put together on this planet, you know, dealing with the physics in this universe. Okay? Go ahead and go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, play the uh, uh, the uh, inversion number six, okay, with the dot on the fourth note. Up, up, up. Yeah, but we just, I know I, I started making, I know I started, I know I started making big uh, accents to kind of take us in another direction or to, to, to give you an example of where this thing can go, right? But really we're just here. See, remember all of our wrist terms were here and then we played doubles at this volume. And now, okay, now we're gonna play paradiddles. And watch, now we're gonna play, let's see, paradiddle, paradiddle, ah, 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 ah. What's the next inversion? Paradiddle, paradiddle, ah, 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 ah. Then, then the next one, uh, the, uh, 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 there's seven, I'm blending all together. Ah, 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 But it's in, and what you want to do is be able to move from parad one paradiddle to another, to singles, to doubles, to all kinds of other strokes. Because we, yeah. have, we, have, we have the ability, once we understand these parameters that we instilled, right? Thank you, Murray Spivak, right? Once, once, once we learn that an up is an up and a down is a down and a rebound is a rebound, and we know how to control different volume, dynamic levels, and so on. We can just start to blend all of this stuff because it's all be one, two, three, a multitude of however many of the seven basic strokes. Yes. Okay. All right. So now go ahead and play seven. You're still not letting the stick rebound, but if you practice what I showed you, where you just let the stick rebound when you play a paradiddle, you go ah 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 ah. ah. That's when you got it. So you're just going to have to spend some time. Right. Right. Now we're on to number seven. Okay. Number seven. Because we got that accent on there. <laughs> my accent so that's all it is see nice and see how nice and easy look look Doesn't mean it has to be loud. See, eventually this this stuff starts to. We just get stuff like that, right? Deep, forget it. Not in love anymore. Deep, forget it. Yes, 
how you start to get that stuff because we're, we're making motions and it, it, see see the see the when I did that they they, they, they sounded even didn't they that it wasn't going da 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 I could we can do that too we can but do we have to see so we don't need to always make a really loud accent okay try again number uh, number. Go oh, good not, not, no, give me number eight. And, and watch, watch to only play a studio. It's a dot, not an accent. Make the accent a little quieter. Show me quieter. Easy and quieter. Quiet, make it even quieter. Oh no. Okay, it doesn't need to be a loud accent. It doesn't need to be a loud accent. You work on not making a really loud accent. See if you have the control to make a gentle, gentle dot. It's not an accent. There, there, there. Good, good. Now I'm gonna get this. I want to. I want to get because we we've been going at this for a while and we abandoned that other interrupted recording. Okay, so now we have, no, go ahead. What would you do with the right, 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 left? Well, that's, that's what I'm taking you. Well, here's what we do. Funny you should ask. Here's what we, we do. We make a gentle throw. See, again, continuity. We're making a gentle throw into the three notes. That's all it is. Can you do that? Metronome at 72. Now, in the left hand, were you, it looked, it looked almost like you were almost like throwing for the left hand, but you weren't accenting it. Can I? Because I, I, I caught myself and stopped, and stopped doing it, right? That was good. That was great. So or should, or should that be just this turn in the left hand? This turn. I could make a throw, but no, no, no. that's not what this is. That's good. Saw that, and I did too. Constantly doing a systems check. Okay. Very interesting that now you're able to just throw once and get three rebounds. Mm. Turning your wrist every time. We're pulling your fingers every time. Guys do that, right? They throw it down. Then they pull it. That's not what this is. Not what this is. We're not doing any pulling. The hand opens and closes all by itself. No, no need to be doing anything. And once you once you get in touch with that, once you get in touch with that, then you will be able to pull if you want to. Yes. Now, that was better. Here's what I was going to bust you on. You, you got some semblance. You were getting rebounds. It was pretty good, but you were doing this. That's kind of like some arm. That's like molar. What? Isn't that molar? <laughs> Something, right? Or maybe, maybe that ends up really small and doing... I'm not a molar expert, but... What we're not doing is we're not dragging the stick in, in off to the side. We're good. Watch. Straight up and down. Like that. Better. Do that again. Yeah, oh, yeah that's good. Metronome on? Yeah, yeah. Be on. Don't slam the throw. It's a nice chill throw. Okay, so you, you can do that. Okay, do it the other way. Number, number. Uh, looking at, we're looking at. Yeah. No, you're doing that thing where you're going off to the side. It goes straight up and down, up and down, up and down, over and over again. Just nice. 
is general yeah it, it's 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 lacking con some control on the left side pretty good it's okay it was great i find that it was it was relaxed and but i find that it was it, it felt a little funny maybe because it's 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 a new it's a new feeling and motion on the left side and what you don't want to do is go out to the side. It doesn't go out to the side. It's straight up. Exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Look, look, look. Every once in a while, a metaphor is appropriate to use. You know, it's not always just, it, well, it is always just a lever system. But sometimes the metaphor, remember the, you've heard it before, it's the puppet on a string. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the puppet on a string. Watch, watch. You can imagine that, right? You can see wh where that came from when you watch it. You drop it, lift it up, you drop it, you lift it up, you, <laughs> you drop it. It always looks like that, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, now let's take one quick look at 13. You're, you're, you're going to go through 11 and 12, but they are essentially what we just played. With the three notes at the end of the... the other fingers. I could. Okay, but it's just all the same stuff. Just reorganize. Now it's a motion with four notes in each hand. Go ahead and play. I have to snap. I have to snap easier, a little more easy. Remember the puppet on a string. Okay, let's, I had you, I want to take one quick look because I'm determined, we, we don't, we don't have to go through the entirety, but Mitch Peters, number five. Yeah. You have that? I, 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 yes. The three camps? Yes. Right. Let's just take one quick look. Now I had you, I suggested, because we haven't gotten into roll strokes on uh, as rebounds, right? Yeah. You're working on you're working on doubles. Now you're working on doubles at 72 in stick control. But we're we're still working on roll strokes as wrist doubles. Mm -hmm. That's why I suggested that you you practice this on the wrist, right? Which which mean, which would mean it's pretty slow. Probably, and that's not necessarily, but give you a chance to get your head around what this is. I suggest you, you you play it at a tempo where you can play this thing comfortably on the wrist. So go ahead. What tempo did you use? I'm trying to think. What's that now? I'm just trying to think of where I left off with this in terms of tempo. Wow, okay, let's see, that's heading into rebound land, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you can play, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted it on the wrist, but go ahead. Was, was, was I playing the doubles on the wrist? No. I don't know, were you? You tell me. No. It was on the wrist. Uh, 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 uh. See, this is rest. Could I play as rebound at this tempo? Yeah. 
Ja. Where, where, where is that? What is that metronome marking? That's 60 per minute. Okay. Rebound half, <laughs> really. You de you didn't really find a tempo that you're not really on the best. It's like you're kind of in rebound. get faster if you just leave all these parts alone any yeah. little corruption we're just trying to get out of the way and let the stick do its thing okay so you're you're going to want to you're going to want to revisit this yes now you know if you want to play it as rebounds i would perhaps suggest Maybe duplicating what you're doing on stick control, just because you're not really. It was hard for you to really get a rebound. Okay, so you want me to play this on the wrist then? Is that what you're saying? Well, no. Let, let's think about it, because you you you're in re. You want to head to rebound, man. I can tell. Da 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 da. So seventy-two. Da 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 da. So if you're at seventy-two. You're, you're in stick control uh, tempo. You're at stick control tempo. This is stick control. Isn't it? And now we have accents, so we might make a little bit more of a throw. So I'm not so worried about having you read this thing for me. It's kind of the cycles over and over. I'm about, I wanted to look at ha, have a look at how you were playing it. Exactly. Okay. So 72. We're gonna play it. Now you're kind of these are roll strokes. Now, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's a five-stroke roll most of the time, right? Then you have. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's an eleven stroke roll, right? Okay, so now you're at the, well, that's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes you let, sometimes you do let the student lead the lesson, right? Okay, but don't go. Don't go off half cocked, as Murray would say. You know, because because yeah, maybe you can cheat, right? That's 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 the way to get rebounds is by playing them faster, so that now it has to rebound because you can't turn your wrist that fast. Yeah. Instead of getting an actual real wrist turn rebound double. Ah. And and we know that it's seventy two. We had to break that. We, we have two different ways to help you play a rebound. Rebound double. in stick control. That, that was turning at the tempo of, of the uh, rebound doubles so that it turns in. So it goes from dot, 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 dot. See? This, look what it looks like. Watch. Look at the stick. Watch. Dot, 
Look the same. Almost right. There's no difference. The only way you know what I'm playing is because I'm singing it. Yeah, like that. And so there's that way, but that didn't always work. What really worked for you was to just go. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four. And just give me two of those. So I suggest that you feel that. Don't go faster. Be happy feeling that and then apply it to Mitch Peters. Right? You, you know what this is, right? You, you know the little joke? It, that, that's a Roman ordering five beers. Right, right. Sorry, that's my showbiz shtick coming in. That's you funny. Know, <laughs> I know myself. Okay, really good job. Okay, keep it up. And I'll talk to you on the other side. Thank you.